Damn. Damn. I was supposed to play slow. Damn. That was not... If I played slow that fight, I'd probably win it. Guys, remind me, please. Remind me when it's an important fight to slow down. It's so tilting. Because I could I could have won that fight. I mean, I did mention Barricade, but I didn't think about it hard enough. Because it was a Reaper turn plus Hemo. Just like, I could have burst him down. This logically makes the most sense. And I come to that conclusion 100% of the time. If I think about it long enough. I always come to that conclusion. Vegetable breed. Thanks for the raid, buddy. I hope you had a good stream. I'm going to say yes because there's a shop right here. It gives me a nice threshold. And the threshold that I got was a hand of greed. All right, boys. Get your glasses on. Capitalist silent is in the building. In the time of coronavirus, stocks are going down. Economy is plummeting. But you know what? The silent's got a hand of greed and she doesn't give a damn. Matter of fact, it's time for glasses. Another nice caveat of uh, Hand of Greed is the fact that it's really good front-loaded for Act 1. Now, Caltrap is not that good for the time boss, so I will remove the doubt. Now that makes you wonder... Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know what this is, right? Wait, 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 wait. You know what this is. That's 40 gold, baby. That's 40 gold. Whoo! Okay. I want to upgrade Hand Agreed, but I also want to upgrade Crippling Cloud. Big, big decisions. Triple Sentries, please. Triple Sentries. Guys, you know what this is, right? I'm telling you, when you're a capitalist, you know no bounds here. You son of a gun. I'm supposed to be greedy and you here you are with one extra HP. I'm appalled, disrespected. I'm appalled and I'm disrespected. Hmm. Ready to play neutralize. I, can't, I put all my damage on that guy. I will go for 75 gold, but, 75 gold, but to be honest, I'll kill one of them if it's necessary. I don't want to like be stupidly. I don't want to like overly do it here. But yes, hand agreed right now would be fantastic. If I only get 50 gold, that's fine. Takes your damage to get a better threshold here. Uh, I'll save life. It's not see not using hand agreed. This guy feels like a big waste of damage though. That's the problem. But there it is. Ah, uh, waste of damage, but do we care? At some point, you gotta ask yourself, is the damage worth, waste of damage worth 25 gold? Man, I gotta make a decision here. Cause like... I know, it's not worth 25 gold. It's not. Cause I gotta fight another elite. And I also, guys, I also have to fight Slam Boss. Listen, Slam Boss exists. Every bit of health and how I manage this act is important here. 25 gold is not going to win the slam boss for me. You guys hate to see it. I know you hate to see it. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Fuck. Alright. Well... This guy could greet on. We only get 25 gold in this fight. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. No, the cockle game, game on the shop. I thought about it, but I didn't buy it. I couldn't have known. But now that I know. Alright, that's huge. Okay, let me think here. 
Yeah, I, th I thought uh, Project Hand agreed there. I felt fine. Another poison. I don't feel like I want here. Distraction. Ugh. Did we rest and go for another lead here, or can we actually get by with this much life? Because I would like to upgrade Crippling Cloud. I can also go for another shop as well. This path at least has the option to get away from Elite if, you, if you're scared enough. Because we have enough of a power spike, I think, with this meta scaling from Grand Hand of Greed, plus the tough bandages being as strong as it is, that we don't have to go for another Elite necessarily. Because tough bandages is worth 5 Elites. It's gone forever like your lo love life, exactly. The problem with your love life is it, ne it never appeared in the first place, so it never really had a chance to leave. Uh, so it's going to be Lagavulin or Gremlin Nub. So the, the, both of those I'm going to want to rest for. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, relax, guys. You don't got to make this face. <clears throat> we don't need an elite anymore. We don't need an elite. We don't need an elite. Oh my fucking god. I still probably want to move your strike, but this heal might be—I might might be do the heal and go for early anyways. I do want to move? I definitely want to move strikes though from this deck. Wait, we gotta make sure we can build, beat the slime boss. That's that's like, so these are great, but if we can't beat the slime boss, it's all for not. We have the relics to win the game. We have two relics that literally win the game by themselves. Some of the strongest win rate relics right now I have in my deck. The slime boss is a hold on the beast. So we just need to kill the slime boss. So healing is pushing us closer to the threshold of making sure I can kill the slime boss. Removal is absolutely stellar for everything else. To get hand agree more often to get I'm doing it. I just hope the slime boss gets solved. Excuse me guys, I see some gold afoot. All right, guys, we need to get 25 more gold. That'd be fantastic. Waiting for gold. Calling all gold. Huh. Why is Bandages so good? Okay, Bandages is only as good as me It's only as good as the amount of calculated gambles you can find. So basically, if there is an equation, X amount of calculated gambles being offered, Bandages get X times 5 that much better. Guitar, guitar. I mean, yes, it's discard. It has discard in the name, but it also has draw four, pay one energy. You're back down to two energy. You can't really do anything with that gold. Yeah, calculate game will exactly. Bouncing flash though, on the other hand. Uh, it's good for lack of gold in here. It's a little bit awkward hand agreed, but I mean, it's better than skipping for sure. Acro doesn't go over my deck. I'm, I'm not taking Acro there. Do we upgrade the Deadly Poison? Do we upgrade the Neutralize? Or do we transform a Strike? Because we have Toxic Egg. Transforming is like removing but upgrading as well. Like Transform has maybe some value here because of the Toxic Egg. Would I, would, would, would I like to Transform or upgrade Neutralize? What about Removal flat out? Which is flat out Removal. I think Transform is better than Removal here. Now the two cost cards that I have feel a little bit better. I know I got you, Guitar. I'll, re I'll refund. The question is, I'm facing Grumman Knob, 22 life, block pot. Where's the acro now? 
says everybody true. But here's the thing, Acro's a common card. We'll find more of it. Now Acro has a good place. But also, Block of Bullion, I think we can got, no problem. Grab the 22 life block pot. Into slime boss. The opening hand is super important for Gremlin Knob. If the opening hand contains poison, the the nuts would be bullet time poison, like the nuts would be bullet time bounty flash crippling cloud hand of greed opening hand. And then I win the fight. The non nuts would be everything else, and then drawing these two cost cards in this sporadic staggered nature, and then I can't really play any of them. I can't get stacked the poison, and then I just die. So there's a real real world where you die to Gremlin Knob here, and in a world where you have toxic like, top bandages, the possibility of dying for a Gremlin Knob. It's not worth it. But Lag of Olin is guaranteed. So 50% chance we have a 50% chance to win the fight because of Lag of Olin. And then 50% chance to get Gremlin Knob and potentially win that fight. But there's also 50% chance that I lose a fight in Gremlin Knob. So my odds are like 75-25. Maybe I'm being a little bit optimistic. My odds are more like 60-40. Okay, maybe 65-35. I survive and get win this. 35% chance we're dying. 6535. We gotta think about the fact that we have these two potential relics that like 6535 is probably not the best. Goodbye. Alright, so here's the optimal play. Split these guys, get 50 gold. Maybe not. Maybe I have to just uh, get my hell get out the hell out of Dodge here. Let me see. This guy's put the Yeah, if we don't take the power and extra relic provides, but also the card and, and the, the rewards and potions that maybe the relief provides for a slam boss, yeah, it, that, is, that is a very good real possibility. I think we have the block pot here though, which makes the slam boss fight a little bit worse, but. No sounds? And the bright side, we can get hand agreed right now, right? No. I'm one off hand agreed. Can we can we collectively curse the game for being so cruel? Or maybe being generous. Maybe the game is saying, you know what, get two hand agreed, it's not one. Am I being too risky by doing that? That's ultra greedy. But like we technically can get two hand agreeds here. How risky is that? I already used a block pot, I want to get some gold out of this, but the gold is not going to save me in slam boss. It's really good for Act 2, of course. Let's, let's, let's evaluate. Okay, so they're going to be at 11 life each. A hand agreed kills them all, guaranteed, and if I don't draw a hand agreed, well, two strikes does a deal. There's a lot of slams in the deck. Um, I don't know. Eleven. <sighs> Should I greed this?
Hmm. If I upgrade and then rest. <laughs> What's upgrade doing for me here? It upgrades a strike or defense. Um could upgrade neutralize. I mean the up I think we'd rather just rest and have more overall life. I don't think I care about the upgrades to toxic egg. It's a tough fight here. Uh, if only bullet time existed. If bullet time existed, we probably just win the fight outright. This is... Uh, I don't like Catalyst in this fight. I don't like my odds here. It has to be Bunchy Fast Catalyst, though. I don't do anything. I pass. Do I want to have more Ellen Second in my draws? No, I can't. I can put it at 76. No, 79 minus 4. No, I can't. Hope this is enough. Hand agreed, please. Hand agreed, please. Hand agreed, please. I can make 100 gold off this fight. Should I do it? 100 gold? I should end this fight. Hand agreed, honestly, is like, okay, I'll have its place, but it's, I'm not having, it's not having the space for it. I'm just not having the space for it. I do too much damage. I don't know. I want to leave some of them alive. Okay, leave one alive. Yes, optimal. Take seven damage, take a 25 gold. Take 17 damage, take a 25 gold. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, okay, 20, 17 damage is a little bit more. It makes my draws, it makes my, my life a little bit worse for next uh, act, but... I think gold's gonna save the run, don't worry. However, these are not going to save the run. Alright, so what we can do is like alchemize, I guess. Wait, no, Stormer Steel top bandages? Wait, wait, did I just overlook Stormer Steel bandages here? Is that even relevant? It gives me block and damage. It gives me block and damage. That's got to be juicy. Now, alchemize is pretty good to get potion value. But Stormer still has tough energies and damage. Fuck. We absolutely have a lot of 200, but we also have hand a bullet time. So what we could do is like find like hard, hard card draw stuff. 
acrobatics, acrobatics. If you get Storm and Greedy, it feels really bad. That's the only problem. Alchemize is just more... You can play potions willy nilly, get a little bit extra in your fights. Since we didn't get that many relics in Act 1, and then we just keep replay, re, 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 rebooting potions. But this, this, might not, this might not be stupid, honestly. This is 6 damage per card. Plus tough damage is 3 block per card. That's mathematically very strong. I love Alchemize. No, I take this quite often, especially when it's already upgraded. And I think potions are huge. Potions are super valuable. Mathematically, so let's say I don't average hands. Let's say I, let's say I do have a, a cool five card hand. So then I, I'm getting 12 block and uh, 24 damage. 12 block, 24 damage. That's like a, a, a more beefy dash. But then you don't play anything else in that hand. So like on an average five card hands, 24 damage, 12 block. But nothing else is played that turn. Eh. Oh, I should have done it. It should have. This would have been the wrist blade, storm of steel. YouTube would have loved it. We would have rejoiced. Now that would have been on an average five card hands, an extra sixteen damage. That's forty damage, twelve block. I swear to God, YouTube, you missed out on a good one. All right. So we have. I would have been cool too because we have bullet time for energy. So we have bullet time for energy plus we have like. Damn, that would have been juicy. Ectoplasm is surely isn't though. So it's Coffee Dripper or Rush Blade. And I don't see how Rush Blade is good here. So it's just, it's just Coffee Dripper. And we use Alchemist to stay alive. <sighs> this would have been the time to use Rush Blade. This would have been the most unique deck I've done in a while. But, eh, too late now. Remember that scene though. So we want to find apparitions probably. So go for events. We have toxic egg. We also probably want to find. Um, we probably want to go to the store. And uh, we can use smoke bomb willy nilly. So at what point are we saying, "Hey, let's just smoke him out of the hell out of here"? Because Akamai's exists. We well, surely don't smoke out of this fight, you know what I'm saying? Wait, I want a hand of greed though. But even I'm thinking maybe not possible. Hand of greed is not possible in this fight, right? Okay. Yikes. Okay, thoughts on this bullet time. Thoughts on this bullet time. On average, bullet time gets a little bit better. Crypto card number two is huge for the times where I get bullet time, but that's a lot of two cost cards, obviously. I'm, I'm really banking on bullet time here, and I think this helps me get bullet time a little bit better. But, I mean, the two costs are just awkward in general. So, do we feel like we want to smoke bomb or are we doing poison pot? I think we're playing proactive, we're not going to smoke bomb. I should have smoke bomb this fight. I regret everything. I'm doing this because I want to just hand agree them ASAP to show dominance, but also... Also, uh, hand agreed exists. And alchemize exists. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, I just gotta hope that I draw a hand agreed. That's the best thing I can hope for. That's the best I can hope for. It looks like Hanagree's not going to be a thing in this run, but who knows. <sighs> Acrobatics is pure money, pure gas, premium gas, diesel fuel, oil in, a, in, a, in the Middle East. Like, this is amazing. Let's go. Sure. No. Read today's stream description. What's going on with team? Oh, today's stream description. Oh, it says play slow. Oh, play slow. 
Fuck, I'm supposed to play slow today. Ah, that's right. We play slow, we win games. That's kind of hard to do sometimes. Alright. What's up, Plague Bearer? Why play someone you can play fast? No, oh, I mean... Guys, just remind me to play slow on the important fights, okay? I'm talking the heart. Uh, fighting to a rare... Fighting those, that stupid event for a rare relic. It's gotta slow down for those fights. It would have given me a way to heal with, um... With Comfort Trooper, you're right. Data Dye is AoE, which we kind of... I like Noxious Shrooms, though. Noxious Shrooms even necessary here? Or is Data Dye just better front-loaded? Because Data Dye plus Hand of Greed means we can do things like... Data Dye, Attack Pot, Hand of Greed plus Slavers. Da da da, attack bot, hand degree slavers. Pretty relevant. Pretty good for a gun leader as well. Maybe the front loader is better than Noxious here. How does Noxious feel about the. I think this is really good for what's, what, what we're about to fight. I actually don't know if I like Energy Pot more here. I think. Well, we have a lot of two cost cards. Energy Pot is pretty premium gas, with the amount, but Attack Pot feels really good for slavers here. I wasn't going to go for Elites. I wasn't going to go for Elites, but I think with Da da da, now we are snapping it. And this is, that is huge in this fight. Oh my, wait, oh my word. Oh my word. What did I just say about this fight? Does anybody remember what I just said about this fight? I said something about this fight. I said this exact thing. I'm glad your class is paying attention. I'm glad you're paying attention, boys. It's a pleasure. One problem. I can only do one-handed greed. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, is this a two card deck banana uh, bonanza? Not a banana, but a bonanza. It's a bold time deck, I just want to take advantage of bold time. Yes, 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 yes. <clears throat> Never have I been more excited in my life. Ice cream valley, baby. Ice cream valley. Let's go. Hand agreed. Come on. Come to me, hand agreed. Come to me, hand agreed. I believe in you. Hand degree has arrived, baby. It's here. We're taking a lot of damage, though. That's that's a problem, guys. It's problematic for the amount of damage we're taking right now. Ah. I don't think the track's relevant here.
Hannah Greed, you're, you had one job, Hannah Greed. You had one job. I needed you to be relevant now. Is there, can, I, can I draw back into Anna Green? Is Fear Pot ever worth it here? Uh, it's too late now, right? And guys, if you watch my old YouTube videos, I'm the greediest per player alive. I've died many times for greed and for entertainment. You know how much that pains me when I sleep at night? Is this worth two putt? No. God, hand to poison is so awkward. What can I say here? New pot is not is worth a lot more than 25 gold. Boys, smack it, slam it, let's go. Let's go. If things get scary, you know what to do, boys. Get the hell out of Dodge. This might be a smoke bomb fight. But guys, in the hand of green territory. One can only hope that we get calipers, so I'll just block, but also hand of green territory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the first hand of green. It's a pivotal moment in mankind. Uh, this fight could just kill us, actually. I really want to go to the store. We're rich. Ish. This fight could just kill us, though. I wonder if we take our gold and leave. Oh, but I want I want the gold, I also want the car reward. Toxic eggs are invaluable. What's up, Eric the Giant? The mini does not count for Hannah Green, unfortunately. Yeah, they, they made a new command called Fatal. And Fatal is a keyword that says minions are no good. We want big, real meat. And ever since Fatal, we've been sad ever since. Because, guys, I used to do ca hand degree capitalism all the time. And I used to get rich. Those were the days. Back in Century 15, we were loaded. We were loaded in Century 15. The richest man on the street. Alright, we could just die here, boys. I, I wonder if I just should have just smoked bomb. Because Crappy Jibber is too important, right? There's a, there's a chance he doesn't attack there. I've never done go with the drive for this. I just, it's not even a question. We don't even think about these potions. We just use it. It's not even a question, right? It's not even a question. It's not even a question, Jeremy. It's not even a question. Waffle. Orrery has a huge place right now. Orrery is... Also, Outmaneuver exists for ice cream. I know people are like, Outmaneuver ice cream. Are you trolling, mate? Maybe I am trolling because we're going to get ice cream value... Regardless of what we need is well laid plans and well laid plans only. But I would like to remove a strike. The deck is good actually. This is important. Really important. Okay. I wonder if it's good guys. But is it better than Deadly Poison? Yes. Do we like heal hook here? Because of all the weaken we have? And it helps us get a little bit more damage. You guys are probably wondering, Jim, what the fuck are you doing? 
I see two Nightmare Pluses and I want to move Are you crazy? No. This is going to win. Question is, heal hook for the weakened severe. That helps our damage. We do have a lot of weakened. We have Crippling Cloud, Crippling Cloud. We have Leg Sweep. We have Neutralize. Heal hook just feels like a good card here. But only when they're weakened. If it's not weakened, then the heal hook is a bad card. Isn't that funny how that works? Conditional cards? Man, I hate them. Who knew? Huh. Let me think. Okay, I think heal hook does help our damage and kill the minions a little bit. I do feel that way. And I think we have enough weakened to justify it. We can we can nightmare alchemize every fight. I can refill a potion belt every fight. Let me let me just clarify what's going on here, guys. I can use four potions of fight, refill four potions of fight. Tell me how I'm gonna take damage or lose with four potions of fight. You you can't respond. You're you're stumped. You're stumped. I'll, I'll be clear. The goal for 12-0 is when I'm in the mind space of a different Jeremiah, not so much at this mind space, all right? There's like there's like a beast and a jack, like a jackal on a hide, right? and maybe today we're a little bit hide, but the jackal is more circumspect about that. I do okay, real quick, Hugh Hook. Let me think about this. Do I have to roll for some more block? How's our block? Our block's not that good. We need blur. Car Secret Tank for... This is the second bullet time? This is the second bullet time. And let me explain why it's so important to have a second bullet time. We have two Nightmare Pluses. A second bullet time is crucial. Crucial. Can you guys say it with me? This is crucial. Thoughts? This is a second bullet time sometimes. Or basically... Not, okay, not a second bullet time. That's unfair to say. It's... The ability to pull bullet time more often is pretty important with double nightmare and the, the cards that I have. Wish me luck. Okay, now okay, well, you're memeing. You're trolling me. You're trolling me. Just kidding. You want to see what's going on here? Nightmare catalysts or. Wait, nightmare, this is Nightmare Catalyst, right? That just wins? Where's my outmaneuver? Is Bouncing Flask better? Math time. Bouncing Flask is 12 plus 7, 7 plus, uh, okay, 19, 19 times 3. Nightmare Catalyst just wins, yeah? But not without doing. It. Okay, hand agree. You're trolling me. You know what? You don't. You can't exist in a poison deck. I'm sorry, but we need to get alchemized first. Well, I guess we can say alchemize was. I was supposed to nightmare alchemize and see what potions I wanted. Now I could theoretically take damage here and go for nightmare alchemize. That was before I played the last catalyst. Sorry. Okay, this is great for a run where Hand of Greed is actually relevant. Yeah. Do I have an end gift I don't know about? Did I? Do I have an end gift I do not know about? Alright, check this out, guys. We pull up Nightmare. Okay, check this out. This is huge. You ready? Oh my god. You guys are not ready. You guys are not ready. You guys are not ready. I just won the game. It's it's literally over. This is this is the best thing I've ever had. I'm not even trolling. This 
secret technique, my friends. Yes. Hand agreed, you're just, you're not even relevant. Holy sh- Oh, can I get both, please? Oatmeal, Jeremiah's Oatmeal. It's a relic that I designed. It's where you snap all three card rewards. Jeremiah's Oatmeal is a rare relic. It's a one-time use. Please. Adrenaline helps you consistent. Burst is just disgusting, though. Fuck, man. Maybe adrenaline is just more consistent. Adrenaline helps you enable these things. Of course, engine really like idea. Like, adrenaline helps me be more consistent. Absolutely, absolutely. But burst can make me be disgusting a little bit faster. Fuck it, we go for elites. I can go for energy and say, don't pick up any. Maybe just go for leads. I mean, our deck is already done. We can take. We can take the Jeremiah play slow. God, I didn't think about that enough. I want to go for leads regardless, but four leads. Okay, four leads is a little meme, isn't it? Is it though? Is it though? Is four leads a meme? Do I want to hit a shop or do I want to skip a shop and save money for Act 4? Like, what does the shop do for us? In the very least, it removes a strike. We don't need strikes at all in this deck. I'm sorry. You said I have, you said I have coverage over no sustain. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you over the, the, the sound of my bullet time nightmare a secret technique first turn. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, what, what'd you say? Say that again? I got what? <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, here's the problem though, I want to use potions for alchemize, because what is the weakest link here? Is poison pot the weakest link? We can reset- guys, remember, four potions a turn, I, I, I fight, I told you I could do this. I can show you that it's, it's good, but no, I like these potions that I have. I think poison pot is the weakest link, but poison could use for killing elites quickly. But still, I'm going to do poison pot here. Okay, I regret all my decisions. I'm going to use that now actually, because in the event that they drop a potion. What do we secret technique here? Is it Emmer Catalyst? Or... How are we actually doing this, actually? I don't care about this potion. Hand agreed. That's what I want right now. Hand agreed. Hand agreed. Hand agreed. Boom. Alright, let's reshuffle our deck. I don't play any poison because we want to get hand agreed again, right? No, man. Our potions are great. How can I just play these potions? Just go duplication speed pile. Like, I would be a, a stupider than I already... Okay, I can't do that, man. Like, come on, these potions are fantastic. If these are shit potions, absolutely. But these potions are... Yeah, hold on to that for the heart, absolutely. I want to get in hand agreed range, I'll do this. But I might have just sealed my fate in terms of, uh... Not being able to get hand agreed. It's very possible. Well, at this point, we just gotta try to find hand agreed. Please, Hannah Greed. Please, 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 please. You got one job and one job only. Uh, honestly, it was a mistake. I, I, I might have to retire this card. Okay, I don't think I need dash here. No, I spent a lot of money buying it. I didn't make any money off of it so far. 
But the damage is useful. It's a useful card. Round two. Let me get some water. I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. So do we uh, do pot ray form or do we just um not do pot ray form? Do we just like ray form a no do pot? Or do we need Dupot Rayform to buy us enough time to beat this? And we get a lot of potions because of Alchemize. Maybe we just use a Dupot now to secure a rare relic. Because we have Coffee Tripper, right? So we Dupot Rayform. We, de we definitely don't die in this fight with Dupot Rayform. Now, am I greedy? Do I want to hold on to Dupot? Or is it worth just playing it? Secure this rare relic. Secure Coffee Tripper. Now, three turns of intangible means I have two turns next turn to set up. So my deck is rather large. We have one of our Nightmares here. It's not guaranteed that I'm going to be able to do bullet time Nightmare Callus shenanigans. I think two turns is a little... I think we do pot to secure. Because the next two turns are not necessarily beating the fight. And if I play one reform, I'm already losing dexterity and then I'm going to be taking damage. I think taking damage is definitely a no-no here. I think Dupot is totally worth it for a rare like here. I can defend to take no damage. Okay, oh, it's worth it. I mean, I can save energy otherwise, but I think saving all the life is possible. But because both times are already winning the fight, so both the time you can do secret technique on hand of green. I mean on on nightmare here. I can also just do adrenaline right now. So there's two things I can do. I can do adrenaline. Hey, also Eric Design, six foot tier one sub. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can do secret technique on backflip to draw more cards. I can do it on adrenaline. Draw. I can do it on acrobatics to get a bigger hand. This is going to be 18 damage. 18 plus 25. Only f Wait, is that enough? Am I too greedy for doing that though? Would I rather diversify my damage here? We have four more turns of intangible. I don't think it's too greedy. As a world where I diversify my damage and they don't care about that, but I think with Corrier it. it it's probably just optimal. Well, Nightmare's a joke here. It's a really unfortunate nightmare. Need two more turns to win. And this is this might be dicey actually. Oh, we're good. Uh, do I go for a hand degree next turn? I mean, we have good chances of getting hand degree next turn, right? Worst case scenario is we take burn damage. Worst case scenario. Best case scenario, we get hand degree. Not bad. 
So we come back to Predator yet again. This time Predator is saying, hey. I can give you more card draw to find Bolton more often. But it's also just a dead draw most of the time. The pair gives me six block. It, it, the downside is like... It helps me cycle, which is actually really important. Because both of them are the best card. Wow, okay, uh... Questions. Nightmare Alchemize, is this the time? We have a couple questions we don't care about. A couple questions we don't care about here. Or we can go Hand of Greed and we can actually get Hand of Greed next turn. So we can get 25 gold or we can get some Potion Cycling. Oh my lord! The best card in the game! Do we- at this point, what, 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 what I'm seeing, I don't even care about Vipa, I don't think. At this point, I'm- Okay, now that was a miss. You miss every shot you don't take. Speed pilot. Okay. Dodge and roll. Dex is huge. I know Dex is huge. I know Dex is huge. We're gonna get Dex, but I get it. Maybe we won't. Maybe I just threw the game. Dex pilot is really huge for the heart. I can get artifacts with that. Potion belt, artifacts, speed pilot. It just kind of wins the hard fight by itself. No, Dex is very important. Absolutely. I, I keep seeing dodge and roll, and I keep wanting it more and more. Because I don't have the best block, and this. Enables potential. Nope. All right, what do we got here? Say no more. Say no more, guys. What are we doing here? Prismatic shard discovery. Okay, let's look at removal here. Removing a strike. Look, you guys didn't think I was gonna say Prismatic Shard Discovery. I know. It's actually a value of Prismatic Shard Toxic Egg here. What does Prismatic Shard enable for us? It's probably just Anchor Remove. If I'm being quite honest, it's probably Anchor Remove right now. If I'm being 100% optimal, it's Anchor Remove. Oh, now this changes things a little bit. It might be Centennial Puzzle. I love Discovery. Mm -hmm. Centennial Puzzle might be because things like both time exist. But removing a strike seems pretty crucial, actually. Anchor's turn one. Fossil Helix makes the Centennial Puzzle a little bit worse. You think this was an interesting consideration, actually. Card draw is the name of the game with this deck. That's a nightmare. Let me just clarify. So we're seeing the same thing. Let's look for Alchemize. Okay, in a world we don't find Alchemize, we can set up two turn lethal and look for Alchemize next turn. That's, that's, that's optimal, right? Optimal, brilliant, genius. Thank you. I'm, and I'm going to be rewarded for playing like that. Okay, maybe not. But we can, we can dream of a world where we're rewarded for playing well. 
Okay, I think I like speed pot better. I think I like speed pot better than weak pot. Full circle, baby. And noxious fumes. So Dagathor is more cycle, and when you have Wraith form, this gives you block. My only question is, guys, where are the calculated gambles? That's the block we need that wins the run outright. Not just is not necessary anymore. The strip artifacts is not necessary anymore. Remember, we set the recall, so I recall here. Okay. That was interesting, though. Manages statuses sometimes as well. Now we don't need these cards. All right, this fight. This fight could get scary, so... Now, I'm... Wait, 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 this fight could get scary, but it's a good-ass hand. So we just won. So it's game over. My only grievance... I'm not joking around. No, no, I'm not joking around. We, we just won. The fight's over. It's not a joke. My only problem with this is that... um, I'm using speed fight here. Did we do pot here from Cloud to guarantee? Well, we, we guaranteed the next turn anyways, right? So let's do the math. 21, 21, 62. So no, it's actually less. 12. You okay, buddy? Eighteen. 18.54. Oh, it's not guaranteed. So deadly poisoning makes us lethal. Eleven thirty-three ninety-nine game over. Double Ganga. Much like Dapo Schlag, but better. Now, was there a world that I need to? I think Dapo Ganga is fine. As as it, this is probably fine to take. Absolutely, that doesn't feel bloaty to me at all. Lord Valley Ice Cream. Yeah, it actually does mess up Ice Cream. Big true. Big true. But it helps you find bullet time. Like, so if you get this in the first two turns, it helps you get into better draws and bullet time and get energy. If it's post ice cream saving, it's 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 like a curse. Predator, I come back, I keep coming back to it. Predator is card draw, which is crucial for the deck that is this large and it has bullet time. Although I think a card draw is fine without the predator here. Isn't that kind of crazy? We got no poison in that guy? I like my potions here. I would try to dig for Ritual Dagger, but... Uh, I want a Hand of Greed here. Oh, wait, I can never Hand of Greed and get Hand of Greed again next turn. That's 50 gold. That's relevant. 
I should have had three artifacts. I, I just neglected the fact that I didn't pop three artifacts. I do want to do Nightmare Hand Ingredient. I'm going to get Hand Ingredient. That's 50 gold. Um. Hmm. I don't have energy for all this. Now there's a world. Or I can get Hannah Greed here. We have time. Fuck. How can I get extra damage with Scopot? Like that. Like that. I talked about the world and the world came true. Craig has him in chat, please, 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 please. Okay. We need 75 gold in that fight. That's nuts. Guys, my deck is so good. Oh my god. Oh my lord, it's already game over. Do we have that Nightmare Alchemize here? For this fight? No, I think I like approaches too much. We are going to the heart. What you talking about, Willis? I'll recall here. Mm. I'm whatever both time is insane. Absolute insanity. What you talk okay, do we do nightmare alchemize though for real? For real. Ah, uh, well, it would have been cool. Would have been nice. Just in case, you never know. You never know. What I really, what I really need is um, hand agreed now. This is, I'm setting up for hand agreed at this point. Yeah, this is no longer what you think it is. This is Hand Greed now. Nightmare the Nightmare do Nightmare Alchemize? Yeah, but guys, I actually don't want to get rid of my Ghost of the Jar and Doom Pot. <laughs> I just don't want to drop to Hand Greed now. So I want to, like, hopefully get lucky. Wait. Oh, see, the, that the Acrobatics was pushing it. See, the thing is, I was just, I was testing my luck. Because if I don't draw Hand Greed there, then, I, you know what I mean? Maybe I should have done that. I don't know. Hey, you never know, man. I'm Shaku Stack. The point is... I took a risk. And Jacko stack. Getting one more ghost, I <gasps> Dare I say game over? Look at this hand.
Didn't draw nightmare. Do I have the Dupot? Do I have the Dupot Callus here, or are we are we fine? Should we just not take a risk and Dupot Callus? We have buffer still. We have break from the deck. We have buffer and break from the deck. I think we're fine. We have a buffer still and a ray from in the deck, but like, I have coffee to burn. I have ghost in the jar if anything. So you know what the potions that I'm gonna lose now? Well, well, what we could do. Is Nightmare Alchemize. First and foremost, kill these guys. Alright. I mean, how much damage are we actually taking if I do Crippling Cloud? So let me just double check. If they had two guys attack first, let me see. It took six damage. Huh. Maybe it was worth it to save six life. I don't know. Because I, I remember I have to recall. Oh, I didn't get potion I wanted. Oh! Never punished. It's weird, it's only head. No, so we're getting offered a lot of rares. This is no longer good though. I mean, it's just never good. But, you know. At Mall Bank. Mall Bank is doing a better job than Integreed. This is Integreed's turn to shine. Okay, we need to draw Nightmare and Agreed. One can dream. One could dream. I know, T stop, but it, it, I never, there's never a situation where I want to discard my hands. That's the problem. Um, um, at most, I could do like two hand agreeds here, right? Three hand agreeds is pushing it. I could lose buffer and try to get hand agreed. I thought about Summersive, so it was, I was offered as a boss for like, and I thought about it, and it was like, we had tough bandages, and we have... But the way the deck is now, like... The, the Saxon and Chaco could not sure, so sometimes it's useful, but our, our deck's really good. Discard, I don't, a lot of these cards I can't discard. I mean, we might as well set up Hand of Greed here, and lose Buffer. This buffer could be a bad play. Because this guy may not be able to die. But if we can get hand agree, that'd be fantastic. I mean the goal here is to nightmare hand agreed, but maybe and now we just do like this and leave that guy up
I'm gonna try to clear out my hands. We hope for the best. I would like to get more gold. I mean, I get lucky. Let's, let's see. There's a world where we do. Is a world where we get hand of greed right now? That world's gone because. I can get hand of greed next turn, I guess. Great next year would be great. I tried. I did try. What's up, Kenji? A second prepare because of tough advantages to help cycle our deck, which is really good actually. Manage statuses or just a footwork. A footwork I think brings our block all in line, no? But there's probably a world where we're just nightmare rayform and winning the heart like that. I think footwork is just not necessary. Because I could totally see ourselves either popping rayform and having too much poison and the fight's over, or nightmare and rayform or nightmare or something else. Like the deck by itself is kind of just destroying everything. And we have ghost and jar, so currently we we already have five intangible for the hard fight. With two doors and guards. Five, five intangible. So what is what we're gonna do for five intangible? Nothing. Prepared though. This could be Nightmare Alchemized just to find more ghost and jar. I would like to get Nightmare Catalyst for sure in this fight. So the, the big replay is to do violence. This is a big replay because you want to pull out your attacks. Because you want to get a better calculated gamble because the calculated gamble needs to be bullet time and other things. So this is sort of massive brain. Maybe small brain. We got the number callus. It was huge brain. We're still looking for bullet time here. And we found bullet time. Lord have mercy on this blessed deck. For this is turn one. We even get Sundow here. This is turn one. So we will try to get hand agreed by putting him in a, at a life total where we end there. And I don't want to draw because what if I draw into hand agreed? Take the risk. Nujaku. My hand agreed will give me Nujaku stack. Hand agreed, please. Hand agreed, please. Bro, how many times do I set up hand to greed like a damn greedster, but it doesn't cooperate? I don't understand. What do I gotta do? I'm playing it slow. I'm playing it so slow. I'm optimizing hand to greed, and it still doesn't matter. I got Sunday at least in a good proc. And the problem is I drew acrobatics early. If I can guarantee acrobatics with calculating, it would be fine. I got new track with and Sunday procs. Maybe I'm not. Ooh. Is Blessing better than go Energy Pot? I doubt it. This might be really good. So this is Kunai. This gives us some Dexterity. This might be useful, but I don't think this deck cares about Dexterity. Let's be real. So Dexterity is useful for the Awakened One. I can still play, get Dexterity, stay up for the Awakened One. I go into Phase 2, we have all the Dexterity in the world. I 
And this is this card just seems relevant, right? With ice cream. Does it ever does this ever affect us in a bad way? Like if we get it turn one, turn two? I feel like card is pretty good with, with with ice cream giving us energy and we have like bullet time in the deck. I'm not gonna agree with two first. I think we're gonna stop greedy. I'm just gonna go for the fight. Well, this thing about awakening one though at this point because um, what's the best play for awakening one? Are we supposed to do like nightmare catalyst and try to have catalyst for both phases? Are we just doing nightmare ray form and just winning the fight through intangible? I often have full hands. This is not really good. I can agree with that. Well, let me think about. I should be a little bit longer actually. There are times where I have excess energy and I'm not utilizing it because I don't have card draw. But if I had card draw like expertise, I can really keep my turns going. So once ice cream is online, expertise is quite good actually to to redraw into it the time and do everything all over again. Wait, doesn't Nightmare Calculate Game will just win the game as well? It does. Nightmare Calculate Game will also wins the game. Events because we want mind bloom, right? So these could be upgraded cards. We have Panagraph. So we could take up to um like up to forty eight. So do we just lose five, or do we just lose all ten? What color cards are we looking for? Expertise is a good card draw mechanic for ice cream. When I have excess energy to just keep playing more cards and do more things, it seems fine. And what are we looking for here? The trackles, I guess. Violence is actually pretty cheeky because it allows you to take out the bad cards so you can draw into the good cards. This cycles actually really well. I know it seems weird, but it takes out the attacks that we draw only to the skills. That we'd rather see like the catalyst and the nightmares and stuff i think it's actually a really nice card i have one two three four i have like four attacks that's all my attacks so it takes away all my attacks and then allows me to just draw into only things i want to see see you have to bring hand agreed i mean that seems less good because I actually care about cycling my deck. I don't care so much about... This brings Hand of Greed and everything else. Wait, am I crazy? Okay. So Dark Shackles is fine on an average turn, right? So we can Nightmare Alchemize for this fight. We can Nightmare Survivor. Survivor is amazing block with uh, the advantages. We can Nightmare Alchemize. Nightmare Dark Shackles if you wanted to. This is not the best time for Nightmare. Uh, I wonder if we want to like Expertise first. And see if we can get a better Nightmare target. We got two Nightmares. Yeah. We can also just Nightmare Alchemize. And play a lot of potions. I could do like Dark Shackles, Survivor. I could try to do Expertise card draw and find a better target, maybe. Nightmare Survivor is pretty good. It's pretty premium block. I think it might be worth it to do Expertise first, though, to see what we can find, in my opinion. Do I ever want to Nightmare Alchemize? I don't know. We have a lot of good potions, but we could just start popping through potions, I guess. I think I'd rather find better targets. So I can nightmare bullet time. I can nightmare nightmare bullet time. I can nightmare calculator gamble. I can go for nightmare catalyst now.
I can never rate form. So this is much better why you do this instead. I think we just never catalyst. We don't want to play rate form now. Never rate form is fine too. Never catalyst kills this first phase, but then the problem with that is. The problem with this is that, what if it is not cast on the birds? Uh, I could leave them up, I suppose. All right, let's do this. But then we don't have cast for the second phase. I guess we have Rayform for the second phase. Maybe we can hand greet the birds here. All of our attacks on the bottom. We can nightmare the calculate game or we just win the fight. Nightmare calculate game or just wins the fight. Game over. Nightmare Callus again. I could. I like this better. So we want to look, get hand of greed now. Wait, this is finally getting hand of greed. This is a good fight for us. This is why I wanted to do what I did. Let me show you why. Because I'm going to make calipers come from my ass somehow. I can make this guy have no strength. I can, I can do Dark Shackles and kill him this turn, and then he has no strength for the next phase. I don't know if I care about that. What I do want to do is get closer to Sundial next turn. Uh, we might take damage on the next part of the game. We have buffer of anything, though. We have buffer. We're fine. So we, we just leave this as is because we want to keep ink bottle and buffer of anything. I could rave from at this point. Or we can just do like expertise and see what we get. Expertise is pretty good here. Alright, we are way above board. Oh my lord. I don't even need rave from this turn. I'm going to ring for the next act. I want to make a hand agreed on this fight. 
trying to set up ink bottle, but also get hand of greed. So this is ah. Uh, damn, can't get it. Close, but we have Sundial Ink Bottle perfectly set up. I, I have to let it be as it is. That's gotta let it be. Ninchaku Ink Bottle are perfect. Sundial is perfect. We could have taken damage to get Pentagraph. So this is where we do violence because we want to get out the bad cards so we can when we do prepare and stuff we're drawing to good stuff so that, this is the main reason why i did this i wasted ink bottle i was supposed to play mm, oopsies So now our next draw is going to be only be pretty good, actually. I'll get Kunai proc, that's fine. Get that out of the deck. Kunai ready for him to win the game. I should buy enough time to win the game. Buffer as well, yep. I'm ready for him to just win the game, right? But only if we get if we get like bullets, I'm coming up. Well, I don't have Nightmare Truck. I think Nightmare Rifters is fine. That surely buys enough time to win the game. I guess we could find some other targets if we do this first. Wow, brother. Say it ain't so, mates. Say it ain't so. Set up ink bottle. I'm gonna lose Sundell. Should I set up ink bottle? I can't. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Should I set up ink bottle here? This is where we can get Hannah Greed, maybe. Maybe we can get Hannah Greed here. There's a small chance. I think I just ink bottle here. I'd like to do Nchaku at least. I right, would let this be. Well, we have Courier and- Whoa! 
I'm sorry, was that 2700 going into Act 4? Snap pick ghost. We can't lose. If you have ghost, three ghosts, ray form plus the ability to do crazy poison, how do you lose? Is the act for elite dangerous for us? What about fairy? Ember pet is really good for us. Like it's. it's there's never a world where we're using fairy boys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say it. There's never a world where we're using fairy. I'm sorry to say it. Five minutes later, I should have fucking bought fairy. Listen, I'll set myself for a content. If that ends up being relevant, I'll bite my tongue. At this point, prepared is pretty good, right? And deck's done. I mean, we have too many prepares at this point, though, right? Do we? Do we really? Oh! Sorry, that was like a paradoxal came out of me. A paradoxal just came, just came out of my mouth. <sighs> okay. Well, let's have some fun. Was that noise that bad in your ears? <laughs> oh, I didn't put Discord up. Fuck, my bad. Uh, by the way, I've been live for two hours. For... Okay. By the way, I've been live for three hours. I was told this is illegal in five different states. Now, the question is, we need to do um, Bounty Flask here. Because Nightmare actually is worse currently than Crippling Cloud. So Nightmare is currently worse than Crippling Cloud at the moment. So Bounty Flask is for the artifacts, but then, then Cats has no target, which is bad. I might even be inclined to use Dewpot Bouncing Flask. Nightmare Hand of Greed. Do I have enough energy for Nightmare Hand of Greed? That means next turn, I can do Hand of Greed, Hand of Greed, Hand of Greed, and get gold. Wait, wait, I don't need gold anymore. You're trolling me. I got baited. I got you baited. Teasing. Cloud versus Bouncing Flask? Yeah. Wait, do I, do I want all these nightmares next turn? Will I, will I rather Night 1 Crippling Cloud? Do I just Nightmare Crippling Cloud and Nightmare Catalyst? But then, don't we take damage next turn? Don't we take damage next turn? Depends on what we draw. Because the problem is... Two nightmares means we're not gonna draw a lot of cards. 
Like, I want a Nightmare Cloud, Nightmare Catalyst. So here's hoping we draw bullet time, right? So if I do violence, I take it out of my hand. Bullet time. Okay, so since we have alchemized, we just do a uh, a ghost here. We don't need three ghosts, right? I guess we can do the math real quick. We have buffer, so if we do crippling catalyst, doesn't this guy just die? He has 81 life, all right. Math time, uh, 21, uh, 63, lethal, and then this guy is buffered. If I do crippling again, 14, I can save a catalyst. Um, so 14, 42, I can save one catalyst here. I want to use Alchemize, but my, my potions are pretty good. If I do defend, I could not take any damage. I'm not taking damage regardless. Okay, ink bottle stacked. In fact, the fight's over. We have ink bottle stacked as well. Now, what we could do is, I think we just don't do Alchemize here. We already optimized ourselves. We, we, we are ready. Optimization is complete. Ink bottle is complete. I'm ready. Send me. Send me. YouTube. It's not often we get the perfect deck. This right here is near perfect. Enjoy. Opening hand, adrenaline draw three because of ink bottle, catalyst in hand, bouncing fast catalyst to be exact. Oh my god. Wow, do I ever dupe? Do I ever just ghost and draw to stop beat of death? Oh my god. I don't know why I keep acting surprised. I'm almost in disbelief when I get these hands. It's like my turn ones haven't been this the whole game. Anyways, um, Eric, we have calipers now. Remember this. So we do this to get rid of the existing attacks out of my hand, right? So like, that gets rid of neutralize and the endless agony. So then when I do prepare it, I only draw into heavy gas. I don't really care about it. I guess I can do Knife Rock here. I think Bob's gonna get fucked up, but whatever. So, do we just Nightmare Callus? Absolutely, yeah. I'm not gonna need this again, but I'll keep it. Uh, it's probably better as an ink bottle. This is probably better as an ink bottle than it is as a, a card because of intangible. Uh, well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. I get perfect.
Do I do put defend to get perfect? <laughs> you're trolling. You're trolling. No, 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 you're trolling. No. Oh, fuck it. Buffer, baby. Have some fun. I can get hand agreed in this fight potentially. No, can't. Let's see if if we get a high score. My new high score. Let's go. Easy. That was a fun run. Damn, dude. Double nightmare bullet time, no big deal. I'm telling you this right here is stupid. This run was stupid.